It's for us perhaps the largest project that certainly the largest project we've ever done and perhaps the largest project we'll ever do. Uh, we, we noticed uh, uh, a few years ago that we were having more and more leaks on our dual temperature uh, system. Our dual temperature system being the piping in the buildings that supplies both the heating and the air cooling. Um, as time went on we started to notice that the leaks were becoming more frequent and when we actually got into the wall and started to take a look at the pipe piping uh, we really noticed uh, the very eroded condition of the piping. At a certain point I came to our operations committee of our board and, and ultimately the board and suggested at a minimum we need to start to send some sections of this piping out uh, to have it analyzed. Um, we, the board uh, agreed. The report came back with no good news, really. Uh, they said you need to start planning the project very soon, otherwise you could potentially reach what's known as catastrophic failure, where you start to have failure in this pipe throughout the various different buildings. And one, the option that was chosen, is a complete replacement in kind. Essentially, we go into the wall, uh, we remove the old pipe, we put in a new pipe, we do the asbestos abatement in every unit, uh, we replace the fan coil units, the branch lines, the pump room downstairs, all the, the plumbing, and, and it's very much a replacement in kind. Project entails going into each individual apartment um, and breaking the column uh, in each room of each apartment, um, which essentially is breaking a large section of the wall in each room of each apartment. We're going to have to get every cooperator to make their apartment available on the day we need it. When you're connecting pipe up one floor after another floor, that's what I mean by the vertical nature, you obviously have to get into every apartment and, and you can't miss apartments. And in order to do that we need cooperation from everybody. And it's a very significant upheaval in your home essentially. This is a long project, it's going to take at least three years of construction. There is a huge emphasis that needs to be on a project of this size of putting together the right team. I think the team will be made up of, of course, of the board, management, uh, the engineer, the design engineer is going to be an important part of that team. One concern is getting it done as quickly as possible, which suggests that simply waiting until all the plans are drawn before you go out and do any bidding and trying to get contractors maybe may take longer than we would like to spend and that other approaches where you start going out for bidding before you have full plans in hand may be better. That means using possibly a construction manager. There is also another concept and that is which we've uh, uh, ruled out at this point which is a, a design built approach. This is an approach that's commonly used where the engineer will come in and design the system and build the system. When the design engineer gets to design the job and build the job, you lose control potentially and you don't have an independent evaluation of how well the work has been supervised or done and that presents some huge challenges. We put out a white paper, about 10 pages long as I recall, telling the cooperators now what was involved and that was the first word that the cooperators really had about the challenge that was ahead and the paper was called a challenge. Well, we scheduled two meetings, one for the south half of the co-op, one for the north half of the co-op. It's been very successful from an educational outreach point of view up to this point. People are feeling much more comfortable even though it's going to be a very very difficult uh, period. We had a much deflated price guess in the earliest days. Uh, we started thinking, hey, maybe it'll be a $40 million project. Um, 
Then they did another look and said maybe it'll be a $60 million project. And finally, when they did another check, that came out to be an $80 million project. Uh, so as things grew as we went along. Uh, and I, I don't know which is better or which is worse. You get hit all at once with all the bad news, or you learn it little by little. Never was a point at which we said, ah, that's a relief. Each time we learned something, we said, oh, it's a little bit worse, a little bit worse, a little bit worse. So <laughs> yeah, the it's.